Hello, good afternoon. My name is Ashley Solar, and thank you for allowing me to speak today. As many others here today, um, I'm here to discuss the resolution for the ceasefire in Palestine. First, I want to say that I do not believe that this is an appropriate resolution for this city council to put forward. But if this council is determined to move forward with the resolution about the Israel-Gaza war, then I support the creation of a committee that includes both pro-Israel and pro-Palestinian experts to work on such a resolution that is educated and sensitive to both sides of this conflict. That resolution, as it sits, does not meet these requirements. There's a proverb in the Bible that says, the one who states his case first seems right until the other comes and examines him. My dad and stepmom were in Jerusalem on October 7th. They witnessed the barrage of bombs flying in from Gaza designed to kill civilians. Thank God the Israeli army was able to intercept them. It was frightening to not know if they were still alive from day to day. I would like to propose these important additions to the resolution as it sits. Whereas we recognize that on October 7th, 2023, Hamas terrorists broke the ceasefire that was in place and carried out the deadliest attack on Jews since the Holocaust. 12,000 Israeli civilians were mercilessly murdered. Women, including Holocaust survivors, were raped, taken hostage, or mutilated. Hamas terrorists slaughtered babies in front of their parents and burned families alive. Many of these Israelis were advocates for Palestinians, but that didn't save them. These horrors were documented by Hamas terrorists on video to be celebrated as trophies. I'm not going to be able to finish this, but I want to say we will not tolerate anti-Semitism in the form of anti-Zionism, which asserts that Jewish people do not have the right to be safe in their homeland, the only Jewish state in the world. Finally, long live Israel. Am Israel Chai.